Hi. We're starting our morning off with some blueberry bagel and a coffee. Well guys, good morning. Today is December 20th and that means there's only five days until Christmas and there's only four days until Christmas Eve, okay? So let's kick it into, I don't have, I don't have a stick shift. Let's kick it into gear. I'm gonna start today by shipping some things. I only have two things. So yesterday somebody ordered one of my Kansas City Chiefs ear warmers. So let's go ahead and get this going. And then I'm also sending one package to my friend Aiden Wells Crochet. So yeah. This ear warmer is for Mary in Kansas. Well, I guess it is a Kansas City Chiefs ear warmer, so that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you, card. There we go. Next, we're going to be sending a bag of yarn scraps to my friend Aiden Wells Crochet, and that's because Aiden makes a lot of color work stuff. So she's always asking us for, well, she's not always asking us. She just has told us multiple times that she loves yarn scraps because they're really handy whenever you only need to make like a few blue stitches in a color work problem. So I've just been collecting these for a while. Something that's long enough to use, but also short, <laughs> I guess. So I'm gonna send this to her for Christmas. Here's my heartfelt note. Um, this is supposed to be a cat, but I'm, I'm a bad artist. So here we go. I actually just got a Christmas card from Aiden yesterday and it was hilarious. It was pictures of Aiden and her cat Zuma and then Aiden also made herself a Santa hat with a beard on it and everything and it was just it was great. It was great Alrighty Perfect and now I have nothing else to ship so let's work So my plan right now is to start making a hat for my dad and He has asked me for a red hat with the Kansas City Chiefs logo on it, which I bought iron-on logos in another vlog. And then he also wants a yellow fur mohawk on it. So I can make the hat. Problem is that I don't have yellow fur for the mohawk. So I'm thinking right now I'm just going to make the hat and see how it goes. He, for the longest time, didn't like wearing crochet or knit hats and then so i would make him sewed together felt hats and he really likes those he doesn't like it when the holes are big enough to like let the wind through which i understand but this year he was like i think i'd be okay with like a knit or crochet hat but only if it's like tightly knit so i'm i'm trying to look for like very close knit hats. So basically this is this is going to take quite a while. I found a free pattern on Ravelry that I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. It is called My Baker's Hat from Emily Russell. And I'm using it because it's free. It uses worsted weight yarn and it uses a four millimeter knitting needle. The hat has a folded up brim that is made with ribbing, but I'm thinking of just doing the whole thing stockinette and making a double brim, you know? Like I'll make it like six inches and then we fold it in half and then we knit the stitches together and then you have a double brim with stockinette and then I'll just, I'm basically just using the pattern as a means to figure out how many to cast on and then I will use the top for shaping the crown. I'm just gonna change the brim on it. Anyway, um, I have, some red worsted weight yarn. This is Crafter's Secret Big Idea. And then I have my four millimeter needles, which I actually found just the other day whenever I was searching my room for 
the scrunchie tags. And I'm so happy I found these because every time I go to the store, I keep thinking, should I buy four millimeter needles? I'm sure I have some, and I did. I found them, they were in a bag, so yay. I, I knew that I had them because recently, you know, it's been getting cold, so I was looking through all of my hat patterns that I have, and a lot of my hat patterns require four millimeter needles. And then I was like, how do I have all of these hat patterns and no four millimeter needles? But I found them, so we're all good now, all good. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Since this is knit and it is small four millimeter needles, I think this will probably take a long time, all day, probably. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> I am actually doing a gauge swatch and it's already taking forever. Ooh, this is supposed to be four inches long. Let me just check and make sure it's four inches wide. Yeah. It's four and a half. What? Where I cast it on is four inches. Well, maybe it's just a little stretched out. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going for more rows. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, and I was supposed to do 27 rows. So anyway, definitely tighten it for sure. It's not your fault. Oh, good about hunting. The Gamora. 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 Wait. Okay. Wait, it. wait. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Ah. Okay, ready? Okay, well, I am actually switching patterns because my gauge swatch is, is not it. And I don't want to change my yarn or size down on my needles because my swatch is too big. So I found a different one and I looked at the gauge swatch on that one and it matches my gauge swatch. So anyway. I am using the Country Wool Rolled Brim Hat from Claudia Krasinski on Ravelry, and it is free as well. Okay, wow. I mean, it is free, but it's the pattern is very simple. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna start. It's currently 11.50 in the morning. I'm gonna get going on this hat. See what you did. did ride your she, horse. Yeah, she did say, yeah. why don't you have me? I've done about, oh, two inches. Right now I'm watching Smosh Pit Reddit videos because like I said, I love Reddit drama, so it's just fun. And I also like how they read it and react to it and stuff like that. Anyway, I was also behind because they post every week and I haven't been watching them a lot. So now I'm catching up. I think it's like the perfect time to do so. I'm trying to think about the yellow mohawk because I don't, I don't think I can find yellow fur fabric in a store. I, I feel like that's just uh, not something that they'll keep in stock. I feel like I'll have to order it online probably. I was actually kind of hoping that I could find faux fur yarn because I have that. I have other colors. They're just not yellow, but I was thinking, well, they they might not make it in yellow, especially a bright yellow because that's that color is kind of it's kind of an interesting color, right? I would love to just put a yellow pom-pom on the top, but that's definitely not the vibes. You know what I mean? It's already one o'clock. I am knitting my little heart away, but like I said, I don't know how quickly we can finish this. So basically I'm gonna do this. The whole thing's gonna be stockinette. I'm going to knit this until it's about six inches. And then what we're gonna do is we'll take it and we'll fold it up like this so that the bottom of it matches up with where we're knitting now and then I'll go through and do a row where I knit these two together so that it creates a double folded brim and then I'll knit up the rest of the hat and do the crown. I've made hats like that before but I've never done one that was with small yarn. 
Well, I've, no, I've done it with small yarn, but I used a big knitting needle. Anyway, it's going smoothly. It's not going bad. I'm just enjoying my Reddit videos and hanging out. I always post on my Instagram story whenever I put up a new YouTube video and I've been posting at 11 a.m. every day and I was so into my hat that I forgot to post on my Instagram story until like 12.45. So I was just knitting and I was watching YouTube and I was like, oh, my YouTube video is up. So then I went and I posted on my Instagram story and then I always go through all of my comments after a while. Recently I posted a short or a reel where I was showing off that brown multicolor crochet scarf that we made in the vlog the other day. And I was wearing my sweatshirt that says I'd rather be knitting. And then someone commented, you know, why are you crocheting in this video and then your shirt says knitting? Those are two different hobbies. And I was like, I'm aware. I'm aware that they are two different things. I'm just wearing a shirt. Maybe I should knit more to appease the haters. I one time used a Starbucks bathroom and, and accidentally forgot to lock the door. Oh no. <gasps> so someone came in and they were I like, was oh, luckily turned I was luckily turned away. I am making progress on the hat. Here it here it is, you know. My grandma just called me and she said she is out Christmas shopping and then she was just wondering if she could come get me so we could go shopping together. So I told her yes, of course. So we're gonna do some Christmas shopping. I have a couple people that I need to buy for, so hopefully I can find some some goodies. I am gonna bring this so that I can work on it in the car and stuff, but the pattern says we're supposed to continue the stockinette stitch until it is six inches long. Right now I'm just working on the brim area, so Whatever I'm making right now it will be folded in half and that would be the brim. I'm pretty close, I think. Like if I folded this up right now, it would be this long, which is an okay size for a brim. I think I just want it to be a little bit longer than that, you know? So I'm probably just gonna do like maybe another inch and then I'll fold up the brim and then from there I'll be measuring up to six inches and then we can start the decreases for the crown. Also, I need to grab a snack because I haven't eaten besides my morning bagel and I know it's definitely after lunch time for my grandma so we're not going to be getting food. So I need to put on some regular pants instead of these super comfortable sweatpants unfortunately and grab a snack and then I need to put this in my go bag. Oh yeah, also maybe she can take me to drop off these packages that we have. Let's get ready. What? What? I took off the shirt I was wearing and I put on this ramen noodle shirt. It was mainly because my other shirt was a crop top and I'm going out with my grandma. But also just like, that shirt like suffocates my armpits. I like it, it's cute, I like the stripes and the colors, orange and pink, but I think I need to get rid of it. This ramen shirt just really encompasses me as a person. My grandma was telling me that she's like achy because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And I've been sitting here all day thinking about how my hips hurt. Now I'm just like, am I officially old enough to know when it's gonna rain? Christmas isn't for a week. Yeah. <laughs> we are going into this fabric store to see if they have yellow fur for the hat. Here we go. We're at Walmart. Yeah. All right, so here we are back home. Here's what we got while we were out at Walmart. I got this fancy electric pencil sharpener for my dad because he said he wanted one, so here we are. And then I got two gifts for my older brother. He was looking for like camping stuff, I think. So I got him a tent light. 
goes up in your tent. It's got like a hook on it and stuff. And then I got a, a hammock. So then I got this cookie scoop for my grandma. Yes, she was with me, but we're both just gonna pretend that she didn't see it. There's that. <laughs> Last but not least, we got the yellow fur fabric that I need to finish my dad's mohawk hat. And um, boy, they asked me how much I needed and I was like, I only need like four inches or something. I'm only gonna make one mohawk, you know? And they're like, well, we can only cut you a quarter. So I said, that's fine. And then it was a bolt, so it was so super long. So I literally have like nine inches by like six feet of fabric of this. And I have no idea what to do with it. I could make a freaking fursuit. I mean, geez. Also, this is really dirty. Folded. This is how much I have, and I need none of it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm happy I found it. I'm happy it was there so I can finish the Christmas present in time, but boy, it was only $4. So I was already kind of like, ugh, I don't really want that much fabric, you know? And then the guy, the guy that was like checking us out, he rang it up, and then he's like, you want a bag? And I was like, yeah. And then I'm not even kidding, he goes, ugh. And then he like it, to separate the bag off of the thing. And I was like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> that gave me the ick. That right there. That's my ick. It was gross. But I got the fabric. Yay. I was working on this in the car and I think I'm at a point where I can fold it and make the brim now. Let me just, let me fold it up. I think this length is a pretty good length for the doubled over brim. It is three inches, exactly like I said. I wanted I wanted to make six inches so that when we fold it, it was three. So that is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll continue until I've hit six inches and then we'll do the, the decreasing. Okay. But in the past, at least one creator who has spoken out against Katie has had their account mass reported to the point that TikTok took their account down. <laughs> I play till the sun sets beyond the horizon. It's time to try the Hawaiian roller coaster ride. I love Jada. We ordered some Sonic for dinner. It's on the way. I'm going to continue working on the hat on the couch. Uh, Here's what it looks like so far. I'd say it's probably four inches and we need six, okay? Looky here, our hat has made it to six inches. Right there, right there. So now we can start doing the top of the hat decreasing to fit around your noggin. Let's go ahead and you know, you know. By the way, we did watch the first two episodes of the Percy Jackson series that came out today. We watched that while we were eating. I definitely enjoyed it. It made me realize that I don't remember as much about the book as I thought I did. Basically, I read the book like a couple months ago and Caesar <laughs> keeps asking me questions and I don't know the answers because he read them a long, long time ago, right? And I read them a couple months ago and he's like, did that happen in the book? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and then he's like, you just read it. But I don't really retain a lot of information about the books that I read, honestly. It's more like a... I remember how this book made me feel. I remember if I liked it or not. You know, usually if I've read a book a long time ago, I can tell you generally what it's about. If it was a few months ago, I, I can still remember the plot line, but the books that I read a long time ago, like I only remember very few details. And those details are like not even important to the story. 
which is why I'm planning to reread a lot of my favorite books that I read in middle school that I really really liked. I've been looking for them at like the book thrift store and stuff like that. There's two trilogies that I want to reread and I have one book from each trilogy but I don't think it's the first book on either one. Also I won't start reading them until I finish Percy Jackson but one of the trilogies is the Dark Powers trilogy. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And then I don't know if the other trilogy has a name. Okay, it's called the Darkest Powers Trilogy. It's called The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Beckoning? The Reckoning. The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning. And I read those a long time ago. Loved them. I have no idea what it's about. Now one clue. It's a girl. She's got a necklace on the front. I don't know what happens. I just remember that I loved them. And then the other trilogy that I want to read is called Paranormal Sea. And the three books are Supernaturally, Paranormalcy, and Endlessly. So, all I remember about that one is like this girl, I don't even know what she does, but she loves this this boy and he looks like water. And that's all I remember. <laughs> but yeah, I want to reread those. Currently it is 9.15pm. I'm not convinced I'll finish. I think I'll finish the hat tonight, but I will not finish the hat tonight as in put the mohawk on it. I'm also going to have to figure out what to do with the mohawk because I have made him hats in the past with mohawks on them, but they were sewed hats. So I take a piece of felt and I cut it and then it, it gets, there's a seam down the, right down the middle. Okay. So then what I was doing was I was making the mohawk and I was just sewing it in the seam that runs down the middle. But for this, I will obviously have to make the mohawk and then sew it onto the hat. I think I'll probably have to put the hat on my mannequin head and then like pin the mohawk onto it while it's on the mannequin head. I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do and that is I'm going to be switching to double pointed needles. Instead of struggling with my circular needles, I'll just, I'm gonna bite the bullet and do it the recommended way. <laughs> I'm gonna sew it up now. So I'm really, uh, really disappointed right now because the hat is wavy at the top and I hate that. I want it to be flat, not look like that so it's my fault not the pattern's fault because i stopped early but that's because i the hat is already getting too long and i didn't stop like super early so i really don't want to frog this but i think i'm gonna have to hmm. Okay, I've got my stitches back on my needles. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do more decreases and see if that works. All right, let's see if it works better this time. Okay, problem solved. Here it is. It's done. Oh, I'm well, you know, I got to put all the other stuff on it, but the hat itself is done. So that is at least good. Didn't I say at the beginning of this vlog that this would take all day? It's 11 p.m. <laughs> it took all day, but you know, it looks good. I think I'm really hoping that once I put the mohawk on it and the Kansas City Chiefs patch that I won't ruin it because I spent so much time on this. This was hard. My hands hurt, especially this one. My 
finger i was getting finger cramps towards the end not cramps but like you know my i would like press down and then my joint would get can you guys do this by the way anyway i will not be doing anything else tonight so hopefully i can finish it tomorrow this is the patch that's gonna go on it it's gonna go like on the side here and then obviously the the mohawk will go all the way around well normally you would do it like that but should i put it on the front my dad whenever he was talking about the hat he said put it on the side right but maybe he thought it would be like really big because the mohawk i would usually do it like from the top of the brim to the top of the brim you know so maybe i can put it right on the front and then have the mohawk but yeah i'll do the mohawk first and then i'll kind of decide where i want this i will iron it on and then i think i'm gonna put some like stitches in it with sewing thread to tack it down or whatever anyway guys that is all we got accomplished today was one hat but that's kind of what i expected we did get to go out shopping which i was not planning on and we did find the yellow fur to go on that hat so it can be completely finished now so that is great actually but that's gonna be it for today so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it go ahead and watch all my other vlogmas videos i have them in a nice little playlist for you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.